Jesus would give this example to us about Jonah. It's a quick story, short story, valuable story. Jesus would go out of his way to communicate that Jonah was a picture of him. One thing I want to explain throughout the scripture, Jesus said this so eloquently. He said, search the scriptures and they testify of me. Everything that we see in the Old Testament is a picture or a... um, a foreshadowing of things to come. Jonah would fall inside of that. Jesus would explain to us in Luke chapter 11, verse 29. It says, as the crowds increased, Jesus said, this is a wicked generation. This is a wicked generation. It asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of Jonah. In the times of Jonah, Jonah, there was this wicked city that God wanted Jonah to go minister to because he wanted that city to be saved. And it says that this generation's always looking for a sign or it's always looking for a miracle. It's always looking for something to dazzle. It's always looking for something to wow. Whenever Jesus would come around, they say, oh, oh, heal heal the sick or oh, oh, do this. Almost, Almost like they treated him like a magician or a genie in the bottle sometimes, like it was from Aladdin. I mean, it, it, was, it, was, it was insulting. And Jesus said, they're always looking for a sign But none will be given except this one sign, the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was a sign to the Ninevites, this was the city, Nineveh was the city that Jonah would go to and would would prophesy and would share, and it says that the city would come to repent. So also will the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise at the judgment with the people of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom. And now something greater than Solomon is here. He's he's speaking of a different instance in the Old Testament where there was this woman who had heard of the wisdom that God had given to Solomon and she just had to travel to meet him, to learn from him. It says in verse 32, the men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and now something greater than Jonah is here, okay? So let's learn from this. Jesus says, in the times of Jonah, there was this wicked city. It didn't love God. It didn't know God. Everything that it did was evil, and God had a heart for the city. So he looked at a man by the name of Jonah, and he said, I want you to go to this city and share with this city about me. Now, Jonah is not Jesus. I love how Jesus goes out of his way. One greater than Jonah is here. Jonah had some issues. Jonah had some attitude issues. He didn't want to go. He fought going. And he tried to go in his own direction rather than the direction God called him. But God uh, course corrected Jonah and there was this storm and Jonah said, throw me off the ship and the storm will stop because I'm outside of the will of God. He just knew what he was doing was wrong. They threw him outside of the, off of the ship. The storm stopped and Jonah's eaten by a whale. And you're thinking, wow, that really stinks. Yeah, he was in the belly of the whale for three days. It's a picture. It's a picture of Christ. How Christ would die for us and in three days he would be risen again. And on the end of the third day, it says that the whale spit him out on the shore and he went to Nineveh and he really preached about God and he preached about repentance and he shared with them, you know, you need to do things God's way, not the world's way or not culture's way. And it says that the men and women of that city changed their hearts and they repented and they turned to the Lord. And it's a cool story because Jesus is basically saying people are going to see this picture the sign of Jonah, what was he talking about? He was talking about his death on the cross and how he would be in the earth for three days, but then he would rise again. And he talked about how Jonah was a picture of what was coming, but something greater than Jonah was coming. And that was Jesus. He was speaking of himself. And I just think it's so amazing, all these different pictures that we see in the Old Testament, just the wisdom of God to show us what he was working towards. I love this scripture and I wanna share it with you. It says, in the fullness of time, he brought forth his son. Sometimes sometimes it's just not the right timing. God's gotta wait for the right moment. God's gotta wait for the right opportunity, the perfect timing. The scripture says he works all things together to the counsel of his own will. Sometimes when I think is best isn't when God thinks best. And just like Jonah was a picture for them in that time, Jesus is a picture for us, and really he's an everlasting picture for us. Once and for all, Jesus' testimony stands. The greatest picture of faith of all time where he gave of himself on the cross for you 
and for me. And it's so true what he said, and I want to close with this. Someone greater than Jonah is here, and his name is Jesus. And I don't ever want to lose sight of the significance of what Jesus did for you and what Jesus did for me. I don't ever want to take it for granted that he gave of himself, he gave of his very best for you and for me. And because of that, we have eternity in heaven with the Father. We are blessed because heaven gave its best. And I think that's amazing. Be blessed today. Thank you.